Hello and welcome to X1 Bros. We are back. We are live again. This is podcast number 20. We are your positive gaming and Xbox One community. Xbox One, we heart you. As always, I am joined by the bros, the X1 bros, if you will. <laughs> we, that is us. That is us. Uh-huh. First and foremost, I am joined by the man that believes that the only difference between Ubisoft and a restaurant is that restaurants have good hosts and servers that actually work. <laughs> Mr. McSpicy Spicy Man, Mark Haywood. That was a good joke. Yeah. I'm impressed. Yeah. Wow. I, I took the time to write them up today. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I am Mr. McSpicy, and I am happy. Yes, I am also joined by the man. Yes, that's right. He was up late last night, naked and with complete strangers, partying until 6 in the morning. Yes, he was playing Rust. It's red like my dad, Mark Ashley. I'm red like my dad, and I approve of this message. <laughs> <laughs> he loves Rush. You're naked in that game a lot, so <laughs> thought that was pertinent. And finally, he's played Halo so much, when the weatherman announces flood risk, he goes and gets a shotgun. It's George the Man, Jordan Paskett. Wow, you really did put a lot of I know. Those, those were really <laughs> good. <laughs> those were well thought out. Uh, and I, <laughs> I am David Paskett. We are the X1 bros. 20th podcast, everybody. 20th podcast. Who would have thought Whoa, we would have made milestone. it to 20? Milestone. Milestone. For 20 weeks, we've been with you. You've been with us. That's almost my age. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That is. That is. Anyways, we've got a great show for you guys. Let's jump right into it. Jordan, what is going on in the world that is Xbox One this week? Oh, okay. So... Some cool stuff this week. So, first off, uh, Microsoft announced that our Chinese gamers will be getting their Xboxes on September 23rd. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. So, I also did you see the story? I'm not. Th- this also has to do with China, but China Chinese officials went in and raided a bunch of uh, Microsoft <laughs> company places. Yeah. 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 It's all just that. that. Just. It's just welcome. throwing that out there. Welcome to China. They just want, <laughs> they wanted a sneak peek of it. Uh, some, yeah, government, yeah, yeah. some government official wanted an Xbox One. <laughs> I know. That's what happened. Uh, all right, so China uh, on September 23rd, and they have a lineup of launch titles. They're going to be getting Forza Motorsport 5 Racing Game of the Year Edition, Connect Sports Rivals, Power Star Golf, Zoo Tycoon, Max the Curse of Brotherhood, and they're also going to be getting Neverwinter hmm. As a title as well, and that's pretty Big cool. One. I'm that jealous. one is way sweet. I'm kind of jealous of that because uh, I played that game on the PC, and it's a pretty solid. Yeah, I, th- I think it's supposed to be coming here, um, beginning. Well, there's no, there's no. It's inc- unknown. around Christmas, right? It's that's, that's the rumor, anyways. It's unknown about other regions and territories. Yeah, that's the all. Rumor was 2015. I saw. Yeah. Oh, I mean, who, okay. Who knows? I don't know why it's specifically going to China. Maybe just they, they need more laws. Well, that's. I mean, that's their. They I mean, I know be. China has a lot of laws against games and stuff. Like gore and graphic wise, so. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm jealous that they're getting that. So, anyway, next in the news, uh, I thought this was cool, so I added this. Uh, ID at Xbox, we all know what that is. That's the independent developers. Yep. So, if you guys ever heard of a 60 second shooter Prime on Xbox One, it launched uh, last month, I think, and um, it was from a guy by the name of. Jamie Firestorm, just an independent developer. Anyway, he... Uh, what a cool name. Jam- Jamie, Jamie Firestorm. I'm Jamie Firestorm. <laughs> yeah. Here's my card. <laughs> anyway, basically, it, uh, I, I, it's in our show notes, so you should really check it out. It's a pretty cool story. Basically, uh, he breaks down the cost that uh, ID at Xbox uh, gave him uh, for you know Xbox dev kits and stuff like that. And, he's, and it's yeah, pretty, that. really cheap for these independent developers. And he has quotes. Uh, he says... Joining ID at Xbox has been absolutely worth it. There are more than 10,000 entries on our leaderboards at the last check, he says. And he also says, so we've certainly, or he also goes on to say, we've certainly covered our cost and made a living wage to boot, which is kind of rare in the indie game scene. Yeah, because it's not. Because it's, yeah, it's really your own own dollars at that point. So, and he says, in my experience, uh, or... In my experience, I'm really happy we jumped aboard the ID at Xbox wagon. Hmm. It so I think that's pretty cool that some that a guy 
Yeah. So it was just create a game thrown on it. With the last name through. Fire. What was the well, name? Well, I'm sure that helped. What did you <laughs> see that name? It's a on name bred for made for success <laughs> right there. <laughs> so anyway, it's pretty cool. I I like a good story like that. So mm-hmm. if you want to check it out, go check it out. Yeah, so. it was pretty decent. Um, in other news, we got the EA Access was launched on preview this week on the preview build uh, for everybody that has the preview, and um, it's a pretty cool system actually. It uh, you subscribe. You subscribe. <laughs> Echo, uh, echo, my, uh, technical, echo. Uh, yeah. go all right, it's called EA Access, and basically they um, <laughs> they give you access to all EA games. Um, they have something called the Vault, which has uh, as of right now has four games in it: um, uh, Madden, NFL 25, FIFA 14, Battlefield 4, and Peggle 2. Now the thing is, is you can subscribe to EA Access for five dollars a month or thirty dollars a year, which is the much better deal to do. And you get all four of those games for free. Yeah, yeah. thirty dollars um, a year works out to two fifty a month. I didn't, and do, the, I didn't do the math. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> it's any no, we wanted to check it out first. That's yeah, I, I would well, gladly I pay five dollars yeah. to check it out because we're still only a few people get it anyways. Well, yeah, yeah it's I think true. I got yeah, all my. But it comes with three things. It comes already. with the vault discounts and early access. The vault has those four games in it, but they said that they will be adding more. And every game in the vault you get for free. Well, you get for thirty dollars a year, basically. Mm-hmm. So we got, you know, two sixty dollars games and a forty dollars game for thirty dollars. Yeah, this is right? probably the biggest news story this week. And for the under, Xbox One. if you're also subscribed to EA Access, you get discounts on ten percent, right? Every EA mm-hmm. game, with the exception of Titanfall, and there's a huge thing on that. Um, but ten percent on uh, EA games, EA DLCs, basically anything EA owns, with the exception of Titanfall, because of whatever they have going on. But I'm sure. I mean. As time goes on, we'll probably see that hop yeah. in there anyway. Yeah. So, um, also, you get early access. This is the part I'm most excited for. You get early access. You can play a game five days before. Now, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but from what it sounds like is you get the game uh, five days before it launches. Like, mm-hmm. let's take Dragon Age Inquisition, for example. Uh-huh. Um, you get to play basically as much as you want for two hours. You get a two-hour time, and you can go as far as you want, do as much as you want. And then if you decide to get the game at your 10% discount... Everything you played it with that uh, five-day discount or that five-day uh, preview transfers over to the current game, which yeah. I think is cool. So basically, any EA game, like if you're not interested in Dragon Age, play it for two hours, five days early. See what yeah. it's, see what it's mm-hmm. there. Now, right? can you – this is the question. Is, that I don't know I have if the any, same question. If, I know what you're going to ask. Yeah, if anyone has looked it up. But if I'm going to buy Dragon Age anyways, can I buy it five days before? doesn't sound like it. Huh. Basically, it sounds like – well, I mean, if you're going to buy it, you can download it five days early, play, and then – yeah, yeah, I guess. So but when it comes up, but what you're downloading again, is a demo. Basically, yeah. you're downloading two hours of game. You can do whatever. If you can beat the game in two hours, then you've downloaded the whole <laughs> game. You know what I mean? Basically, oh, I'm gotta, gonna do I, it. That's from a challenge. <laughs> challenge from what accepted. I, from what I understand, it's a demo gives you one level, whereas I think this unlocks the whole game and just gives you a two-hour time limit, hmm. and then locks you out until the launch. And if you decide to buy it, okay. And again, that's. Thirty dollars a year or five dollars a month. I suggest doing it. Uh, it's pretty cool. Well, the vault. That's why the I vault mean, is pretty cool. I yeah. mean, I paid five dollars and got four games. Yeah, that's what just sixty dollar games. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, they were. S- well, Madden and you or got like seven hours already out of it. Right? <laughs> yeah, I've, I've I've actually played it quite a bit. So. <laughs> yeah. So. Neat. Right. Neato. <laughs> is that is that all for the news? Yeah. Well, no, that's all for EA Access. All oh. right. So. <laughs> uh, on September 23rd, the Killer Instinct will make a debut on retail shelves, which is the first time because it's only digital now, as the uh, Killer Instinct Combo Breaker Pack. Mm-hmm. Um, included in the pack is going to be all of Season 1 characters, which were Django, Orchid, Sattery, Saberwolf, Fulgore, Thunder, and Glacius, and Spinal. Glacius. Enrique Inglacius. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and if you, you go and your out, jokes today. If you go out and buy the re- <laughs> if you go out and buy the retail package, you'll also get a code for a character TJ combo as an additional fighter that um, is coming to the season two. Um, now it's it's good. It's probably best to note that you only get that extra fighter if you buy it retail copy when you buy it digitally it doesn't come with the code mm. for the tj combo which i'm kind of disappointed in because i want to see them move like this wants... ea access i want to see more digital yeah, yeah, yeah who I mean? wants a cd anymore but i know i have to right? get off my butt and change so, though yeah. you've heard that we, we've all heard that complaint. so if you're a killer oh, yeah. instinct fan that's jump on it that's something cool to get jump on it 
All right, the final Jump Call of Duty Ghost DLC for this season <laughs> is coming out on August 5th. It's called the Nemesis DLC pack. I saw that. It adds four new multiplayer maps, Gold Rush, Sub-Zero, Dynasty, and Showtime. And this DLC pack also includes the final chapter in the co-op Extinction storyline. That comes out on August 5th, and that is the final DLC for this season for Call of Duty Ghosts. Titanfall launched its DLC this week, Frontier's Edge. It introduced uh, Dig Site, Export, and Haven maps, and it is, uh, it's is—it's bundled in the Season Pass, so if you have the Season Pass, you already have it. If not, you can go buy it uh, individually for nine ninety nine on the Xbox Live Marketplace. Nice. All right. Uh, getting into Gamescom. Gamescom coming up, yes. baby. Metal Gear Solid Five has a special gala event in Cologne, Germany for Gamescom. Uh, the celebration will take place uh, at the Cologne Musical Dome on August 13th. The event will be streamed via Konomi's Twitch page at 11 a.m. Pacific and 2 p.m. Eastern. Um, to catch the preview uh, as it happens, just head over to their uh, Twitch page. And um, from what it sounds like, they're going to show off some gameplay and other surprises, and they're going to have a Q&A with the directors. Yeah, and they're stuff. making they're and, making uh, a really big deal. Yeah, they about are. This, so, so I'm actually pretty excited to watch this because I'm uh, I'm a Metal Gear Solid fan. My so. wife, huge Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Shadow of Mordor. Really? Yeah. Really. She loves. She. The she's going to play this really game. Yeah, yeah. When it comes out. Wow. Yeah. Ask her. I, I Ask had her no all about idea. it. That's cool. Yeah. I had no idea. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, Shadow <laughs> of Mordor like, yeah. released. You know what? Movie. I'm going to go ask her. <laughs> yeah, go, just go. Let's bring her on. That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> uh, Shadow of Mordor released a new trailer. It's called the Wrath trailer. It explains the wrath, wraith, uh, wraith, 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 the wrath of it's the called wraith. wraith trailer. The wrath of Khan. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Star the Wraith Trek trailer. Two. It explains the wraith mechanic in. Uh, Shadow of Mordor. It looks cool. Looks way cool. And I, the more I watch, the more I, get, I wasn't excited at first, but the more I watch, the more I get excited for this game. Yeah, and it that looks game really, really does cool. release on. Uh, it actually got moved up. If you didn't know, yeah. mm -hmm. it uh, got uh, moved up, which I think is smart because October is a death trap for mm -hmm. games. But uh, it's releasing. Fun. It's, it's releasing. <laughs> it's releasing <laughs> September 30th in North America and October 3rd in the UK. So nice. All right, Minecraft time. Woo! Minecraft, build some stuff. Mojang Studios, who are the creator of uh, Minecraft, they're thinking of making uh, custom servers for the Xbox One, much like the PC version where you can kind of go and create your own server, create your own rules, blah, mm. blah, 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 right? Um, they don't know, from what they sounded, from what it sounded like in the article, it, they don't know really how they're going to do it. There's a lot of issues to uh, uh, address when you do something like that, but they want to bring it, which is pretty cool. So, yeah. Uh, and if you haven't played Minecraft... Right, like my dad, you really should play Minecraft. Um, it's actually oh, a pretty fun should. game. <laughs> yeah. So you really lose yourself in it. Lose uh, yourself. Lose my life. Also, more Gamescom news. Uh, Microsoft promises a big surprise at Gamescom. I saw this teasing um, us. They're teasing well, us. Well, if it's anything like Major Nelson teased us, I'm going to be incredibly disappointed. Mm -hmm. oh, like that la last Remember that? Year? Yeah, he was we're like, gonna do something we're, I'm going to do something that we've no, never no, done. No, he said then, Xbox is going to do something that no one's ever and then seen he's like, before. Oh, hold up. Something I've never done. <laughs> yeah, like the day of. <laughs> well, you guys that. misunderstood me. <laughs> yeah. We do I love mean, Major uh, Nelson, yeah, but that was a huge yeah. disappointment. Yeah, so Major <laughs> Nelson's a cool guy, but that was, anyway. In fact, so, uh, Major Nelson, if you're listening, feel free to come on over and come on the show with us. <laughs> Yeah, we cool, got guy, cool guy. No, yeah, he, he cool really guy. is a cool guy. Did you just guy. say he'll sit right here like I'm No, going? I meant like right over there. Oh. On your lap, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he can sit on my lap. And oh, just lay I'm the replaceable one, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. at the end. Jeez. The bookends can leave. Yeah. The middle. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a cool guy, but that was quite a that was funny. typo. Or I, no, I thought that was funny. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was. Uh, maybe he did it on purpose to be funny. But, okay, um, you can watch the main Xbox, Xbox One briefing on August 12th. Uh, it's going to be on their Twitch page. It's going to be on Xbox uh, Live on your consoles. It's going to be on Xbox.com. And it's also going to be on uh, Windows phones. If you have a Windows phone, you'll be able to watch it from there, along with Xbox.com, Xbox Live, and Twitch oh. TV. So I'm watching it just because I want to see what this announcement is. And they're uh, promising to show off a lot of the big blockbuster titles. Like Sunset Overdrive has its creative yeah. stuff. So. Yeah. Um, all right. Destiny. Destiny. Um, <laughs> still coming out. Do not sing. I'm like the uh, black guy in the back that just, oh. <laughs> oh you know, the band, right? Like the guy I don't band. even know what you're talking about. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I'm, I'm 
<laughs> I'm the handicapped it. wheelchair basketball kid. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, for those that was uh, that's an inside, inside joke. joke. Yeah, yeah. Inside joke. Listen yeah. to past podcasts. You'll know okay, so uh, Destiny uh, released two new videos. One of them was a uh, a video of high level character. Uh, gameplay, which is really cool. It was a high-level Titan, and they're showing the new oh, abilities. Oh, yeah, and stuff. I saw that actually. Um, they showed what you could do with, with level uh, twenty-nine Titan. With level twenty-nine yeah. Titan. So um, now I don't know exactly how that's going to work because the level cap. What level cap? The then? level cap is twenty, but I think oh. it's some type of prestiging they have or gener mm. generating whatever they have. But because um, if you notice on the video when he hits pause, his character is level twenty. But um, oh, I don't know wow. how it's going to work. But and then they also have another video that uh, kind of goes more in depth on raiding. And uh, it does look cool. I'm excited for it. It's going to be six-player raids, and they are going to be hard. And you're going to need a lot of teamwork and communication. To hard teamwork. So. Both things. And I uh, love. it basically it doesn't just explain raids. It explains um, other end game stuff that you can do. Yeah, okay. that's um, really And cool. those are both on our Facebook page. So if you want to watch both those videos, just head over there and you can watch them. Excuse and me. <laughs> Excuse me. Let me go look. Yeah, I'm going right now. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, and it's August first, so we all know what that means. New games for the month. Games with so go. we got a f well not that but I meant I meant like new games coming out this oh. month. Oh, but yeah, we do have wait until the He's talking segment. about his segment. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, this is I was reading off of his screen here. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> All right. On August 19th, uh, we Where got... Where are we right now? Like On August 19th, okay. we got Diablo 3 Ultimate Evil Edition, which I'm picking up. And then on August 26th, we got Madden NFL 15, which I'm also picking up. And then on August 26th, we have Metro Redux Editions coming out, so... Redo. Is redo. It redo is a redo. Uh -huh. Depends yeah, whether you're French. Uh, French or not yeah. French. Yeah. I'm sure someone will get mad and let yeah. me know. Yeah. That, you know, <laughs> I just I came to the to the realization that those are not till like the end of the month. I was thinking, yeah, they're August. all like not till start the end of the, the month. month. Yeah, right, I have something, and then I was like, oh, yeah. that's really September. Nineteenth, twenty sixth, and twenty sixth. <laughs> those are the three <laughs> big blockbuster games for the month. Uh, oh, three. That's pretty much oh, it. Yeah. October's the big month for games, so that's Diablo and Madden. Actually, I'm really yeah, me too. So. Um, anyway, that's Ready it for, for the news. Imagine. Awesome. Nice. Biggest news in there for anyone? Uh, probably, I think EA Access myself, but there's a lot of big news. At GamesCon, hopefully we'll get some more big news, so stay tuned in a couple weeks for that. Saving the day. And your wallet. And with that, we uh, try and get you some deals. Rad like my dad, what deals have you found for us this week? Absolutely nothing. We're just going to skip this segment right now. <laughs> okay, well, let's move on. <laughs> what if there um, really is a week where there's, like, no deals? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was a little rough this week, So, but we have games with gold. Uh, so if you haven't picked up your free games, uh, Max, the Curse of Brotherhood is still there. It's probably just there for a limited time. Um, Sorry, I've been down. Oh, and we did test it out. If you download it, uh, Mr. McSpicy and I did this. If you download it and it's not no longer games with gold, you still have it. So it's yours permanently. Yeah. Because on PlayStation, that's not the case. It's, no. well, it's only, what if it's that only month case. to month. Yeah. It's what? Oh, yeah. really? I didn't know. Uh, well, I knew games were cool because that's how they've always worked. Yeah, that's they how they've always been, game, but I, yeah. I wasn't sure if they wow. changed it or not. I'm just a moron. But That's well, why I've you know. chosen yeah, Xbox yeah. One. That's why I'm over on this <laughs> what side. If, the <laughs> <laughs> what if you, for you know reasons unknown, no, you only have a 500 gig uh, hard drive, you mm -hmm. uninstall it. You still have it. I oh, think it's still yeah, because it's to connected to your, your cloud. Yeah. yeah. Wow. For, so for just yeah. download it. Yeah. Just stop being lazy and download. Just download it already. Just, just download it. They're point. free. Not free. Play it. Yes. Come yes. on, people. They're free. No. Okay. Uh, so we've got three games right now. Strike Suit Zero. Strike Suit Zero. It's free, and so is the Crimson <laughs> Dragon. <laughs> okay. You're, the you're lucky you're over there. I'm actually excited for Crimson Dragon because. I, I like dragons, it. and that game looks like stupidly I fun. It. I I like <laughs> dragons, and I like the crimson color. <laughs> it's uh, just a win-win for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, no. <laughs> like it's that kind of game that you're like, man, that looks stupid. I actually am really looking it. forward you to it, I and mean? I haven't got like, a chance to yet today because I came straight home and set up for this. But Strike Suit Zero is the one that I'm looking really forward to. I I wanted to get that game when it came out. I almost did. I'm glad we're, I did. We're going to talk about that in in our what we're playing. Yeah. I just okay. played a I'm going to be a dragon rider like He's already told me his, you know, yeah. thoughts. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Heads up. <laughs> okay. But I'll give you the reason. I won't I spoil what he's thinking. Okay. Over at Amazon, uh, we've got The Amazing Spider-Man 2. 
for forty one seventy seven. Wait, the movie? No, the game. Oh, the game. Okay. And I, I was watching a guy <laughs> play that on Twitch like a few weeks ago, and it looks kind of boring. It looked, yeah. It, I movie games always are terrible. But it was kind of cool because you can play like different outfits from except Lord all of the Rings games. The place. Ironic. Yeah. Yes. Well, the production value in those games were pretty high. Yeah. That's because they were the movie. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> No, right. but uh, I've told it before. The Warriors on the Xbox 360, I believe it was. That's from a movie. Rockstar did it. One of my favorite games well, of all it's time. It's Rockstar. So. Nice. Yeah, that's from <laughs> that, nice. that based on a movie. So. Very nice. Okay. It I'll can be done. That's all I'm saying. A movie video game can be done. It, it can. It can. That's why They're Shadow of Mordor rare. is coming out. I, yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm probably. Not, I'm not gonna jinx it. Knock on wood, which this isn't wood. <laughs> that okay. is plastic. <laughs> Knock on plastic. Okay. Uh, also at Amazon is uh, Dead Rising 3 for the Xbox One is $41.80 right now. That is the cheapest I've found it. And it's uh, probably, I I should have mentioned this in the news. I didn't think of it until just now. Dead Rising actually did just recently release on the PC. Uh, they released oh, a like, Game of the Year edition for the PC. Yeah. So if you have a PC and you want Dead Rising, I suggest buying it. But this is an Xbox One podcast, so... <laughs> no, 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 no. We're gamers. Okay. Yeah. Also, uh, Amazon, I have found a Seagate uh, expansion 2 terabyte USB 3.0 portable external hard drive uh, for eighty nine ninety nine for all you people getting your free games with gold and running out of room. Cool. 90 that bucks. Two terabytes. Amazon. Uh, but that is about it for us. Oh, we also have uh, deals with gold. Uh, there's three... Um, DLC packs for Battlefield 4, and they're all about ten dollars. Yeah, but nice. And if you've got EA Access, well, you might yeah. have it by the time you hear this podcast. But yeah, if you do EA have Access. It, then are we going to talk about that later? We can talk about whatever we want. Yeah. <laughs> Say so you get t- you get ten percent off. Well, we've kind of talked about so. it. Yeah, yeah. You've already explained it pretty much, right? Oh, so uh, can I just make a qu- quick correction? Sorry, actually, finish your deals, and then I'll correct myself. Okay, EA Access has four games, and if you pay five dollars this month, you get four <laughs> yeah, games. There, that's a great deal. That's a great deal. How about it? <laughs> Works out to be two fifty a month. <laughs> so don't buy it for five dollars. Buy a thirty dollar year pass. Yeah, thirty. Or buy a five dollar pass for the month. See how it is, and then actually you don't have to spend more because we like it. So. Yeah. Uh, well. That game so stresses far. me out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One of those games stresses me out. I'll yeah. get that. I'll get into yeah, that. I remembered why. Why? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So is that all it is? Yeah. <laughs> all right, nice. Correction. <laughs> correction. Thank you, chat. You guys are amazing. Go yes. Ahead, David. So, correction, uh, at least according to chat, which I believe that more than me. Cause it's, anyways, I was under the impression that the PlayStation Network, you had to be – it was only while that game was subscribed, which I've heard on multiple podcasts, PlayStation podcasts, so I don't know why I'm misinformed there, but, or they are. But um, apparently I was just corrected by chat. It's the same if you download on PlayStation. Mm-hmm. Then you get to keep it. So all of you fanboys out there that were going to hammer me and drill me over that, I apologize. Well, I just thought that that was a genuine difference. Why, between why it, are the fanboys listening to us? No, no, <laughs> I mean, no, 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 no. But I, I think you'd that be surprised. That <laughs> Go look at our YouTube comments. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. But, uh, but I thought that was a genuine difference between mm-hmm. Xbox Live and PlayStation Plus. But yeah, apparently, I was wrong. So it's it's basically the same as far as that goes. So nice, very nice. Okay. Anyways, uh, let's, let's move it on. All right, with that awkward, awkward, awkward silence. silence. Yeah, uh, usually we have David. knock the both of you. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, usually we have you singing a song. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyways, that means it's time to talk about uh, what we've been playing this week, what we've been up to. We'll start at the end and work our way this way. Mr. McSpicy, what have you been up to this week? I have been playing. I'll get the basic ones out of the way. Hearthstone, because you know. It's on the tablet, and <laughs> when you're on the crapper, it's a great game to play, so. <laughs> no laugh, so I was the only one to laugh because on that one. It's not funny to me because it's reality. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I even had the cough in there, too. So. <laughs> you don't need a magazine anymore. You got her stuff. I know. Um, but uh, after we got that EA Access, I've been playing the crap out of Battlefield 4. Like, I probably, all your hours added together. You know how I'm OCD with video games oh, yeah, when, I, yeah. when I get a new toy? Did you keep playing after Did we you got Did you not go to sleep? Yeah. Yeah. Like, seriously. I Look at my hours in that game right now. Well, and I got you. it yesterday. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, I've been playing the crap out of that one. It, um, yeah. What are your thoughts on that one? Because coming from Titanfall 
feelings, thoughts, Battlefield 4. Know. This is really our first in-depth experience with Battlefield 4. I don't know. I'm conflicted. The game stresses me out. Well, it stresses me out. See, here's my problem with <laughs> games like this. <laughs> I love uh, it. Might get on Qual our soapbox. Qualifier. Here's my problem. <laughs> okay. Put it above your head. <laughs> yeah. I, games are supposed to be fun. And whenever a game is not being fun, you should stop playing it. That's my theory. Uh -huh. okay. um, I have uh, problems with this game. I really do. Uh -huh. And the, th the formula that they have is, I mean, you start out with the crappiest. You, first of all, you don't know the map. Second of all, you don't know the, st it's a completely different style to play, mm -hmm. you know, because. Yeah, no, it is. It's, it's different. It's different than Call of Duty. It's different than Titanfall. It's just different. Yes. And so you have to kind of change your style, and you just get rocked. I think everybody that first starts to play this game just gets worked. And the, the, the hook that it has on me is, if I unlock these things from my gun, I'll play better. Mm -hmm. You know, or if I, you know, which... Mm -hmm. It's not true. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> so they have, and that game is ridiculously steep on the amount of time it takes to get unlocks that you want for your weapon. Does that make sense? Yes, yeah, no. It is uh -huh. so steep. I have played, you know, I don't even know how many hours. So, granted, I've played just for a couple of days, um, but I've played, like, nonstop. Um, and it's, it's frustrating because well, here's another thing I don't appreciate in that game. I'm playing, I'm a level, what, five, you know, and I'm playing against level 125s or 110s or 101s. And there's no, I'm, and granted, I, I, I've played the full big you know, 64 people servers or whatever it is, and I played the smaller maps, and it doesn't matter. Are you doing quick matches or server browsers, or is it all of it? Um, I've, been, I've, I've been going both. Really? Wow. Yeah, so I've actually been in noob where the server says, you know, noob friendlies or whatever, mm -hmm. and I think that just means if you're high and play the game a lot, come and kill some easy kills <laughs> to the other people. So, um, anyways, I don't mean to take so much time, but it's, it's frustrating. That game is frustrating because of the high steep curve where it, it and that's the hook that's the hook that they yeah. have is get better gear to get, get better, better gear you're going to you're going to do better but that that steepness is so high yeah and i don't like the fact that since there's so many people playing really what you do does not matter in the game i mean i'm a decent player i'm not like the, at the bottom i'm in the top yeah. half it is a battle it is literally a battlefield that you're on in that in that respect where you are one of 64. One of 64. So really, my my enjoyment with games is I made a difference. I I I played. I was good, or I sucked and I was bad and I lost. Hmm. That is diminished with this game because I if I was good, whatever. If I was bad, whatever. You know, yeah. it doesn't matter. It's about you know grinding that gear, I guess. And that frustrates me because that removes a lot of the enjoyment of the game for me. Does that make okay. sense? Okay, having said that, then, your overall recommendation for this game, buy, not buy, there's mm. got to be a reason you've played it a ton. Stupid grind. I want to get better. <laughs> I'm OCD. You know, this is the same hook that Call of Duty had on me. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it, I, it's that ex girl so, so it's not it that it's, treat me well. it's. Can I say that it's not that you don't necessarily like the game? It's that. Uh, if they would, if they would, what would improve this it's game the formula. significantly? It's the formula. That well, you don't necessarily the formula like. would be a, a much better if I wasn't playing level hundreds. Okay, I could see more could evenly see. matchmaking. Yeah, I mean, it just doesn't matter. They have no MMR or whatever it is they use to... Maybe they do, but it's not working right now. Mm -hmm. You know? And, and I bet it's just impossible to balance with that many people playing. 64 is just super hard. And, and if you're a beginner and you're stuck on a team with five people who are super high, where does that put you, you know? Yeah, yeah. I, could, I could see that. Okay. Very, and so the enjoyment of the game is diminished for okay. me for those specific reasons. Okay. Anything else you've been playing, or are you just... Basically, played the crap out of Battlefield. I played the crap out of, and, and I honestly just finished playing it too. So maybe I just had a bad match, and that's just <laughs> what I'm saying. But, <laughs> that's how he ended up. <laughs> All right, we're uh, Jordan, the man. How about you? What uh, what were you up to this week? I played Titanfall uh, a little bit in the middle of the week, and it was fun. Oh, I, I wanted to jump Titanfall, on and so, check out the map paps, but I had and, a chance uh, to. And then I played Battlefield with you guys. Battlefield. So Titanfall and Battlefield this week. And okay. Since I mean we've all talked about Bat Titanfall, that we all know where we stand on Titanfall. Mm -hmm. Listeners do. Battlefield is is we've we've played it in the past 
temp, uh, kind of. But we never really dove into it. But we've since EA Access, it's given us the opportunity to dive super into it. Jordan, what are your thoughts on that game? Do you share um, Mick Spicy's um, opinion or? Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with uh, uh, some of it. I, I, I understand, like, the, the you don't feel like, as an individual, you don't feel like you're doing much, because that's how I feel, too. But I think the game's formula is around teams and squads. So you don't make a difference, but you and your squad make a difference. I could see that your squad makes Cause a it's, difference. Because it's very, if you notice, yeah. it's all around well, your and squad. I, I, I squad then, base. Even then, look how many squads are playing. It's 562, 5 divided by 62 is what? So you have that many squads. Twelve. Playing. Twelve, so you have twelve squads. So six squads each team. Yeah, but if, if you're a Well, I'm house. saying like if, if, if our squad went and took A and then took B, I mean that's That is something that's a that lot I of did, I right did notice And this. the thing is, is like – oh, sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. I, I did notice that compared to Pat – Previous battlefields because we have played previous battlefields yeah, substantially. I, I was, yeah, we yeah. all yeah. have. Yeah. Um. Is I did notice last night like when I was flying the helicopter or whenever someone would spawn on me or get a kill while I was flying or it it was bonus points because my squad, squad. was doing it with me. So yeah, well, I, that's, I that's, from, that's from Battlefield Three. That was no, no, right. Battlefield yeah. Three. But again, see, we were in a helicopter, and I said, I said, X one, take me to A, and I'll jump that out. Right? Fun. You know what I mean? So it's, it's very time. squad. I think it's very squad based, yeah. more as individual based, and that's where I think. I I I, I, think, I think that's fair. You as an individual, I think, that's, that's a good point. I think you'll you as an individual will do good <laughs> if you and your squad do good, yeah. and I think yeah. that's what the game is about. It's more squad based. Now, my problems with it, and this isn't really a problem. I just wish when I switch from Russian to American, they'd give me the same loadout that I, you know. What yeah, I mean? you've like, got you've got to customize. You got to customize one. your your and uh, then when Russian you do it, sometimes American the servers loadout. the servers that they have don't. Because I had my Remember sensor balls that I wanted to throw out <laughs> on my American, and then I switched <laughs> over and I had no sensor balls. <laughs> and so I had to go back in so, and recustomize it to include my I sensor balls. But I think I think I might be a little biased <laughs> because the Frostbite engine is one of my favorite engines of it all is time. A, it is it's, a pretty game. It's pretty looking. The destruction, like, I was just running around, and all of a sudden this factory fell on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, and they, they did up... The when I was in that helicopter and I was watching trees fall all yeah. over the place. You don't yeah, think the destruction... Like, a lot it, of the buildings don't break where you think they would, you know? Like. Well, remember that Team Deathmatch we were on and there was those two factories and then mm -hmm. we played Conquest map? I was running between those two factories and it fell on me. Like, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, like it, it is was, atmospheric. That, yeah. that is, the atmosphere is, and is I think amazing something, with I that I think something Battlefield always does well is the sound. Yeah, um, their sound yeah. is really good. Like, when a tank fires, I can hear it, you know, over here. Yeah. Like, well, there's yeah. a tank coming this yeah, way. Yeah, you know what I mean? I think the sound is really good. Uh, my, the, like that, that custom thing, it's not too big of a deal. It would just be nice if I had one loadout that I could just choose. I would say the uh, interface is better than last or Battlefield um, Three. Yeah, yeah, my biggest agreed. my biggest problem, and guys, show me how to do it or whatever. Call me a noob. You can make fun of me if all you know, all you want. But I just want a game where I can go into matchmaking and say, invite friends X, mm -hmm. not invite friends. S create squad. Invite squ party invite squad. Uh, Google. Party. How you know what I mean? Like, there's yeah. no. Even when I went to Battlelog, it wouldn't even show my friends list. Yeah, like, yeah, it wouldn't show which I mean, friends are online. Well, and that's, in a game, that's your network, than... right? Yeah. I mean, well, that might be a problem with we do have the preview. Uh, well, no, no, no. I mean, that's that's e that's the network on EA side. When I hit the Battlelog and it pops up and I go to the friends tab, it doesn't show anybody when you're online. That's not oh, our fault. Oh, that's, I see. You know so I mean? nobody was. So maybe up at you can all. invite your friends from that tab. It's just I haven't been able to do it. But I'm just waiting for a game. Where I can go in and I can just hit well, invite friends X pop it'll, up it'll, bam it'll probably happen I mean the Xbox One well, is well, still and is it's 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 on the three all it that's is up to the game developer but like like Halo did it Call of Duty used to do it. you just you hit X and invite and it brought up your friends list of who's online and you click it and it just automatically invites them like it's it's a simple process I don't know why they don't keep it well in there. yeah. Watch Dogs, very good example of not being able to invite your friends oh, to. I mean, it's you just... are just a pessimistic man. <laughs> well, <laughs> <just> this game. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, it's just that's that's my pet peeve. I like multiplayer games. Make, Make it, it easy. easy. And this game is primarily based on multiplayer. You know what game you can invite your friends easy to? Hero Clicks. <laughs> Do it all the time. <laughs> no, so that's my biggest. No, that, we don't just, show up. Just I don't. Make it <laughs> Nobody comes, but I can do it. <laughs> yeah, the, and the same thing. But that's just that's my th that's my biggest pet peeve with the game. Just make it easier to invite your friends. With yeah. any game, okay. really. But that, that's yeah. my biggest pet peeve with Battlefield so, right now. But other than that, I like so it. So Battlefield, Titanfall. Uh, what'd you do in Titanfall? Uh, same thing. Just just ran. I around think I actually played that around. game too. 
Time yeah, you played with me. Yeah. Time bomb. Hey, I did. Oh, see? Okay. <laughs> you guys I even remember. <laughs> remember. Yeah. Oh, but I will admit, that's not oh, your yeah. stream. Battlefield and Titanfall, that was a completely yeah. oh. different... Yeah, you like, streamed it. Titanfall's like a twitchy, fast-paced shooter, and Battlefield is much more, hey, let's go to this hill and do take this point, right? Yeah. Uh, you can't... Yeah, it's... I was pretty mad the first couple rounds. I think it's, uh, it's way you different. can play by yourself easier than in Battlefield. Battlefield, I would Battlefield say that, yeah. it feels well, like you're being attacked by a pack of wolves. Yeah, Battlefield. I think, I think in <laughs> Battlefield you need a you get one guy and then there's another team. one behind him. Yeah, and you're like, that's the size. Yeah, but thing. I think that's the yeah, size thing. It is. And I, and you, I remember thinking Titanfield. Oh my gosh, only six players. That's gonna suck on each team. No, that's a uh, yeah, perfect. Like that. that feels so good in that game. You just said Titanfield. Titanfield. <laughs> Titan, I did really. It's the, the mixture combination of both. My, games. my brain's on overdrive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why don't they have Titanfield? <laughs> it's like those movies that come out after like Transformers. They call it what? Transmorphers. Oh yeah. You go yeah, to the, the start movies. Yeah. The B movies. <laughs> Titanfield <laughs> coming Titanfield. this summer. But anyway, I I did like Battlefield. Yeah, and uh, we actually became premium members. Yes, we did. That's how much I liked it. So. And you want to get rid of your uh, steep curve? I think that's where premium because you get two hundred boost experience yeah. boosters. 100%. So you uh, you took two days to get to level five. I might take like two. I Wait, so you, I think you I am level your five. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so what is the no pre premium? Is, is the premium? premium is basically season pass. It gives us all the DLCs. And how much is it? Thirty-three dollars. I paid five dollars for this game this month because <laughs> of EA Access. Thirty dollars, <laughs> and that comes with all the. I'm like, uh, I don't packs. really want to be premium. <laughs> five dollars is good enough for me. Season pass though, so oh, you get everything. Yeah, so you get all the then you get these boosts. You get but, like, um, yeah. different well, camos, see, different the, uniforms. The unlocks you can earn as well. What they do is if you go and they every week they come out with what they call like a battle pack, and like everybody can unlock the battle pack. It's just with premium, I think you get like a gold battle pack instead of a bronze battle pack. So, yeah. But anyway, yeah. I'm done. All right, uh, red like my dad. What did you have the opportunity to play this week? I played a ton of games this week. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, I played Wolfenstein. Wolfenstein. I watched you the entire stream. Did you like that? Yeah. I'm right I at did. the end, and I took it back to Redbox because I didn't want to, because I accidentally forgot to take it back the day before. <laughs> <laughs> so and that dollar. I was like, four dollars? <laughs> Whoa. Okay. <laughs> That's my limit. <laughs> um, so I played Wolfenstein. Love that game. I love that game. And I want to play it again and do the other, you know, you have a little two different uh, tree, choices like to make. Yeah, yeah. okay. Like I want to finish that choice one. Choice tree. Because I want to see what that, if that, how that changes it. Um, so I played that, and then uh, freak. What else did I play? Uh, I played some. I didn't play Titanfall this week, but then Thursday. Oh, well we played Battlefield. Mm -hmm. um, the reason I bought Battlefield mostly is because of the sniping. I love sniping, and I think I should have just got Sniper Elite Three, and I would have been happier. Let's oh put really? It that way. Yeah. But but I do love Battlefield because I've always loved Battlefield. Yeah. You know. I want to mention the sniping feels underpowered in that game. It kind of sucks. Uh, it's granted but we're on the first although, rifle. Yeah, you're, uh, you're on the first. Ri yeah, but it takes you know five although, years to get. Well, I did unlock mm. rifle too. And nice. technically, yeah. you're not a sniper. You're a recon, yeah, so you should recon. not be really Just, shooting your weapon. Yeah, yeah. Believe it or not. Yeah. But my problem is in the other battlefield, they gave you more points for well, the recon. And the guns in the battlefield too. I could shoot down trees. Yeah, well, okay. well that, that was the more powerful. That was the top. But I love the top gun. Yeah, so we and just I'm haven't sure unlocked stuff. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't mean to hammer this game, but I, I played. I played just today for like eight hours straight. Mm -hmm. uh. I played the recon just that, and um, I was not. I, I felt it was very underpowered on how to get points with it yeah, versus like hard. you could just be an assault and just I've throw in a med. Let's a put this way: I've got more kills with my handgun as the recon than yeah, I well, have with. I mean, I even went on YouTube to tr look on tutorials on how to, like, play the recon class well, yeah. and you need to use the pistol a lot with that class. Yeah, yeah, and I do. Does it not do, uh, like, range points anymore? Like, for example, I remember oh, David yeah, I remember used to shoot someone, and it would so be 100 far. points for kill, it does say and how then, far away you know, you 400 meters plus yeah. 20 yeah, extra you points do. You for each. Um, yeah, and, it's and, just difficult. And headshots um, and everything, yeah. But, yeah, but that was, I mean, it was always difficult. I mean, you yeah, it was yeah, always it difficult. Was, if you were a good sniper, you were a good sniper. The difference is, we just mastered it before, I think. I think we're coming from, that was our only shooter Previously, you know what I mean. I mean or the I play way different the than one. I did before, and, it's, and now we've it's Titanfall showing. has become that, it and it's just coming back, which I, is hard. I've switched to Engineer though, because I remember I did like Engineer when I was playing Battlefield Three, and so I'm doing that now, and it is a yeah, lot of fun. Yeah, it is. 
Um, I, I want I want to like this. I want to like it too. It's just I'm just so kind of so wait 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 wait. When you say you want to like it, so you don't like it? Not really. Okay, yeah, and you I'm, don't like it. I'm kind of disappointed in it to be honest. Yeah. I wow. like it. Yeah. I, yeah. Play by I, yourself. Play yeah. without a play squad. We did. We did. I, play I played by myself. Yeah. I you, I just go into smaller matches when I'm by myself, like uh, small well, conquest or team deathmatch. I played Dominion Death or Domination and uh, and team deathmatch today, and I I like it. I don't know. It it just depends. I think we're. It, I really want to like this game. I, I really do. But this, here's the thing: is I think I would really like Sniper Elite Three just because okay. I want to snipe. I <laughs> that's what I want to do. I just want to snipe because, but. Anyways, I also played uh, uh, what's the Strike Suit Zero? Oh, about, Strike Suit Zero. Well, I listened to a like a freaking story for about ten minutes at the start <laughs> of it. I was like, "Can I do something now? What the heck is this?" <laughs> You're and not a story. You don't like the story games, or I, it's just I just wasn't in the mood for the story. I just wanted to play it and try it out. And my problem with this game is I suck at these games because the flying games. You guys know what I'm like in Battlefield. I don't fly the airplane because <laughs> <the helicopter. laughs> we're going down right yeah. away. We're going down. <laughs> Um, so that's why I don't like this game. It it's cool though, like pretty decent mechanics, you know. Um, but I, it's just not my game. And th it's the okay, same with Crimson enough. Dragon. I'm gonna try Crimson Dragon again, but it's kind of the same idea. Like the two joysticks is your your flying maneuvers. And two stuff joysticks like that. screws you up. It does, because I'm like I'm going up with this one and down with or up with this one too. But Nick, this one's really making me go down. <laughs> so I, I, oh, I okay. love flying games. I'm so looking yeah, forward to yeah. both of those. So I I just suck at those. Games. I used to have a full setup for Ace. I think Ace Combat. I think Crimson Dragon could be cool. I haven't gotten very far into it. I'm just like the first little level. So I, I should just play it more. But uh, it's not really my game. Okay. So Strike far, Suit so far, as yeah. of right now, next but week. Strike Suit Zero is definitely reviews not my pending. Game. Yeah, yeah. mine on Battlefield too. I'm still, I'm still gonna give it a chance. Yeah, okay. I'm okay. still gonna be. Well, and I'm glad like I have crazy. Battlefield because I still, okay. I love Battlefield, but I just, I gotta get back so, into it. I think. Yeah. Oh, but I did buy Frontier's Edge DLC. Oh, today. boom! Yeah. <laughs> so, Nice. Well, that's Man. downloaded, so we're going to play that. Dropping dimes all over. Oh, no, I spent $15 Making dollars it rain. this week. <laughs> Making a it whole rain. $15. That was <laughs> yeah. like, whoo, pocket change. <laughs> <laughs> Man, nicely done, right? I'm excited. All right. Now but we can play together. I played looking, a lot of games. Looking forward to it. Uh, all right, myself. I'm going to start with Battlefield because I feel like the aura around this negative, game yeah. right now has been yeah. very negative, and I and really like this game. I, like I will too, say. Yeah. Coming the first uh, hour of the first day that I played this, coming from Titanfall, I was like, Titanfall is so much better. This sucks, right? But then when I get used to the style, it's just a different style. When I got used to the style, I was like, oh, here we are. This is Battlefield. This, yeah. is, what, this is what I know. Back in vehicles, flying helicopters, driving tanks, driving cars, running people over. Yeah. Getting on rooftops and sniping their heads off, you know, I loved, I, I just like it. throwing my recon ball out there and, and seeing who blips up on my map. Spotting people, I miss, I missed the spotting, I, I'm, it's nice to be back to that. Exploring, finding, finding the perfect sniper position, uh, really learning the map. I, I enjoyed it, I think it's, I think it's the best battlefield since 1 and 2. Okay. Are you talking about Bad Company 1 and 2? Because remember those are yeah. different ones. Okay. Yeah. Um, Dude, I, I love there's Bad Battlefield Company. one two and then there's Bad Company one two and then there's Battlefield Bad Company. three. Yes, yeah, yes, okay. I know. I love Bad Company. Yeah. It's a good so one. I, and I think it's I think it's right up there with those in my opinion. Um, it's just it, it is just different. It, I think we're just used to Titanfall. I know for myself, I was like I was ready to stop. I was like this sucks, man. I had. But then Titanfall you joined the squad and it was fun. It's so much better. Well, but if you guys noticed, like, but it wasn't just that. It was getting used to. Not running in at people or looking for people, but but being like, okay, where is where is everyone going to congregate? Especially me, I was a recon, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's 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 look for them there, right? Or or okay, let's try out the helicopter, fly around. <laughs> I think that's half my problem too. I didn't play ever since I've been playing by myself. I don't play the big maps yet. But yeah, so well, and then and then too, it was like, oh, I'm doing so bad. Oh wait, the point of this map is to go and capture the flag. Let's go help out the team, and then yeah. I started capturing. F it's just, it, it really is. It's changing your mindset. At least for me, it was changing my mindset from Titanfall to Battlefield. Bigger, I mean, more players. I really enjoyed it, and it's beautiful with that many players on there. Everything that's happening, uh, it didn't skip a beat. Like no, mm -hmm. no chugging, nothing. It's mm -hmm. it's nice. Yeah, I really. Well, yeah, it. and if you remember when we were playing Team Deathmatch, we got. 
we got we got raped at first. <laughs> like oh, yeah. we were we were literally. <laughs> but then when we got in a squad and we said, "Hey, let's go to Once this." Once I build. joined, let's be no, honest. No, but Once then I we, joined, all we all had together. a ball. <laughs> we got used to it. We had like we said like, "Hey, let's go up to this building." All right, I'll spot them. You snipe it right. And it, yeah. And yeah. Got a lot more uh, and you notice we got better. And it's I think that's what it is. I think it's the squad base. Okay, because okay. okay. nobody, it's nobody, teamwork. it's not fun to suck. No, Period. yeah, well, yeah. Right. I mean, I mean, and so as I got better at that game, more into that game, by by the fifth or sixth match, granted, I played it the night before too, and I was trying uh -huh. like support and and uh, and uh, assault classes, but on recon last night, especially by the fifth or sixth match, I was in the top ten. Yeah. Almost every yeah, time. I came in first I place. I just wanted to throw that out there. That's when I again. started to really have fun, but it's just getting used this to it again. Okay. The game style for me. This is okay. So playing with you guys, I had I was excited. That's why I played it all today. Like mm -hmm. that's because I had so much fun yesterday. And the difference is, I think I'm thinking of this now. When I played with you, we all were different classes. We worked together. Yeah. When I'm playing on squads with, I, I don't know how many times I was like looking at a guy, please drop your ammo. <laughs> you know, and it's flashing and I'm pressing up. Uh, I'm asking them, drop ammo, drop ammo. It's just, they don't, and yeah. there's no communication. No one wears headsets. So yeah. I felt, I don't know. That's why I, I didn't, maybe, I'm, well, I'm going to give this game a much yeah. better chance to play it, you know. I'm still going to play it because I love Battlefield. I do. I love Battlefield. It, it is. A, it, you need to be with a squad. I just have to ch change my brain, going. probably. I really think that's it because Titanfall well, even... is so much different than Battlefield, and we've been on Titanfall on the well, Xbox One this You guys heard time. me. I was trying to, like, kick people like I wouldn't I know, me fall. too. I'd I was, like, running at them, and I'm like... Me too. I'm running straight, straight ahead like, of them, oh, and, and with my smart pistol, I run, and my... my <laughs> He's a resident smart pistol player. It's the kick because I I one on one it's the same as recon. One on one yeah. you're gonna lose yeah. close com close quarters, right? So I'm trying to kick and I'm getting murdered. And I'm like, wait a minute. And so then I start staying on the outside of the map, yeah. you know, and starting to play how recon's supposed to play. So yeah, but I I enjoy that game. I, it is it is. Am I the only one that thinks that game is beautiful? No, I it, I, I, no, I like it too. Yeah. I like it too. Dude, I just... One of my favorite parts, I, like you said, the atmosphere. One of my favorite oh. parts is when we were three were on the building and we're sitting there, and all of a sudden this missile comes. <laughs> I ducked. <laughs> oh, dude, it was. <laughs> dude, or I was looking over yeah, the side and, just... I, and I hit this guy with my sniper and ducked down because yeah. I had to reload. And I saw McSpicy come over and <laughs> zoom, 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 <laughs> past his head, <laughs> and I was like, get down. Yeah, well, that's what's got me excited about that game. Was the first time I shot the the. The recon gun, the sound that it made, I was like, oh, yeah. awesome. As yeah. of right Great. now, as of right now, I would give this game an 8.5. I really enjoyed it. I continue to play. I will continue to play it this week. I like the game. Comment from chat. Uh, McSpicy, you think no one communicates in Battlefield 4? Try playing it on PS4. No uh -huh. one talks. Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah, the, I mean... We yeah, know, we know why. So count your blessings, man. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Man, I, I don't mean to be uh, so negative. I'm going to be positive. All right, so other than uh, I, I streamed Battlefield 4 for my stream on uh, Tuesday, and then I also streamed Madden, and it felt so good to get back in Madden. It was got because of this both EA. Of you play the, against each it was your trash talk. <laughs> your trash talk when you guys were playing Madden like, with each other was my favorite. Oh, oh it's Madden. classic. I won. It's no. Okay. All those, all all those. to zero. You oh. can't even say your, your, your mom jokes. Zero. <laughs> your mom <laughs> jokes are the best. Yeah. By Let the way, me, they're, they're brothers. So. Let's preface this. First of all, yes, Jordan did win. <laughs> Not the game, but our agreement. Because he had to go, so it was first one to score wins. He scored a field goal. Yeah, and but then I, I stayed to like the second, third dude, quarter, and I had ten, it was ten to zero. That's not all my field goals. My favorite, my favorite, my favorite part though was, was I was coming back and I'm marching down the field and I throw a bomb and Jordan's like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. But it felt good. So since then, actually, uh, I was like, "All right," and I, I played. I played just solo matches by myself a couple times since then. Can't wait. Getting me stoked for Madden 25. Definitely using the 25 or the 10 percent off EA access Madden to 15. jump. Madden 15. Sorry, Madden 25 is this this year's. Um, Madden 15. I'm gonna jump on that. I cannot wait. Um, I downloaded FIFA 14. Have not yet played that, but I look forward. Oh, forward I played a little bit of that. Oh yeah. What did you think? I, I like it. I just got destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> By the computer. FIFA is one. By I'm decent. I'm decent well, at FIFA. Curve, but I was trying to just like uneasy. Get the right older back. FIFA games I was better at, but <laughs> FIFA FIFA's another fun one. I think yeah. this game. Yeah. Anyways, anyways, we'll get into that later. But that's I, what I played. Uh, 
I also forgot I played Peggle 2 last night. Oh, Peggle 2 for the Peggle first time. Now, isn't that game... Isn't, isn't that, that fun? Isn't that fun? Oh, yeah. It's I like just, all the music. It was like 12.30 <laughs> at night last night. I was like, why am I now, still I know, playing this? Now, I know. Let me ask awesome. you this. This is the big test because I know Rad said I'm not playing paying ten dollars for that game. And and on first initial I think that is yeah. unless you know what Peggle is. Now having played Peggle Buy it. It's yeah, it's a good game. Or don't it buy really it, just pay five dollars. It's multiplayer it. too. <laughs> yeah, like across Xbox Live. The multiplayer we gotta jump on. It's actually really fun because you go head to head. Yeah, you can see everybody's Yeah, screens. you can see oh, cool. it. And it's really fun. Yeah, I really enjoyed that game. Yeah, I do. I do. It, it's fun just because it's a relaxing game, but you just you know, it's not much you do, you just <laughs> Point shoot. Yeah, and uh, it's it's fun. Anyways, I look forward. To, and ma playing Madden 25 really got me stoked for Madden 15, so I look forward to that coming out. We'll create a community, get some matches going, get a season going. Oh, that means that music, that sound in your ear, means it's time for us to have a discussion. <laughs> <laughs> what did we just have? <laughs> <laughs> this is the point. Where we enlighten your mind, expand your brain, blow it right up. And this week, uh, we start with an email. We have an email. Uh, actually, it's an, it's an email from last week that we didn't get to. Oh, <laughs> it is an email. Uh, so this is for everybody. This comes from Jesse the Rockstar. <laughs> Gamer tag, Jesse the Rockstar. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yes. Uh, he says, uh, I have a question for you guys. He says, some of you game with your wives. How did you make that happen? I've tried several times to see if I could get her to play, but it's usually a no-go. Emoticon sad face. Ooh. Fire trials. Zumba. She, she, is not, she is not the gaming type, but she does support my addiction. I'm just curious on how you guys got them to it, got them into it, or if they played before they met you. So let's go down the line. We are all married. Jordan is the... Most recently, He's newlywed, so he has the least experience in this department. So let's start down at the end. And uh, Mr. McSpicy, what think, are your I suggestions? I think I've been married the longest, right? So yes. I think you guys might be tied. No, you have like six months. Oh, <laughs> dang. Anyways, I think this is a great question. Thank you, Jesse. Uh, Jesse the rock star for sending this in. What a cool um, name. Because I think there's a lot of people out there in that situation. Uh, I know that there's a lot of people, too, who have wives, perhaps, that think... Oh, you're on that again. Get off, right? Which is a fair point. Don't neglect your ladies, guys. But it can it can be a it can be <laughs> words of wisdom. <laughs> but it can be an enjoyable experience for both of you, right? So, so Mr. McSpicy, how do you make it a enjoyable experience for for both of you guys? Um, well, it can be a bonding moment, really. It, it really is. It the bottom line uh, is choosing the right game. Um, I think. I think that's one of the key things. Uh, when I would, when I first started, she was baffled on why I would play. Honestly, it was she just didn't get it. And I think that's I'm not unique. When no, I, not know, at all. They just don't get the the addiction. I like how he used that term, the addiction of playing. I found um, Legos. Any Lego game, for some reason, I tried it. You know, I, I I rented it one time, and I was like, hey, try this out with us. You know. She loved that game. Um, she loved Peggle, the original Peggle, and we got I got her Peggle too. She loves Peggle. It's about finding the right yeah. game. She game. She to this day won't play any other game uh, mm. with me, so really. And Plants so Plants vs Zombies. Plants vs Zombies. Well, see that, and that's she tried that. She tried that with you guys. Um, yeah. what, how did she react to that? One? I, uh, I, I think I think she enjoyed hanging out with us. Yeah. But I, I don't know she, if I don't know if that was her she, game. She liked she the uh, premise hard. of it and like you know plants and, and the art and the art, the art and stuff. And the but sound. the actual gameplay. Yeah. I didn't think she really yeah. Right. it, it kind of turned her off because it was like yeah. he actually had to have Twitch and all that stuff. So, um, I, like finding the right game. I think Legos is a good game for the spouse or significant other that doesn't. Like the uh, competition games, the the high end, you know that kind of stuff. It's just a relaxing. We hang out, and and she she to this day just she asked me to play that game with her. Oh. Like she goes out of her way to say, "Let can we play Legos tonight?" Kind of a thing, and I, it's like, yeah, let's do it. Sure. So even though it kind of stresses me out because she punches me all the time and I explode, and she's like, "I thought you were a bad guy." <laughs> I thought, I thought. It's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah. And I'm trying to 100% the game, you know. I'm making it a competition, you know, with me. It's just, 
And I'm like, oh, That's we just like, lost yeah, the so coins! <laughs> they just fell off the cliff! Now I don't have those! We, we just missed the meter at the top, you know? <laughs> Everyone knows what I'm talking about oh, yeah. that's played those games, so... Um, it's finding, with me, it's finding the right game that she'll like. Nice. So, nice. Uh, Red Like My Dead, what is your experience with this? Uh, my wife just kind of ignores it now. She doesn't even like... Well, no, wasn't there a game that she... Trials. Tri Trials, yeah. Uh, yeah, Trials. Because we tried playing uh, Legos, and she just kind of was like, eh, whatever, you know. Uh -huh. And I'm trying to think what else. Well, Pego last night, I was like, you want to try it? And she's like, no. And I was like... Oh just boy. have her play it once. But that yeah, my I wife. I think she'll like hooked. it because she plays those phone games all the time. So I don't know why she wouldn't like this one. But trials, she loves. I don't know why she loves trials, but she does. And I'm just like, go ahead. Hmm. Hey, the more you play, the more you might actually change your mind and like it. <laughs> but um, it really is choosing the game. Um, like shooting games, she doesn't even sit in the same room as me. She's gone. <laughs> yeah. She doesn't like it, and so she's just out. Um, mm. and well, then I know that I've played games before when I first got married, and she loved the story-driven games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, um, even though if she's not playing, like the movie kind of story yeah, games, yeah. like uh, what I could say Alan Wake. Kinda yeah, Alan Wake. Mm -hmm. What was that, Indigo something or other? Mm, I don't a know. A long time ago. That's the one that I played. She loved that one. Um, so... She doesn't necessarily have to play, I yeah. guess. But yeah, and I'm going to try and get her to play, like, Max or something and see if she likes that. But um, Puzzle? Try a yeah. puzzler? Because yeah. really, it's not too hard. Finding the game. The game. Myself, I, I could say that uh, I was going to hit on what McSpicy just said. My wife loves watching me play games, actually, surprisingly. Yeah, but, but it's the, the story. Right but even first-person mm -hmm. shooters, she likes. She, she finds it hilarious, <laughs> when, especially when I get blown up. <laughs> She's <laughs> like, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but she does like like Metal Gear Solid. She loves. Uh, <laughs> That's just so funny. Um, yeah, she was. She loves funny. Walking Dead. We played that. We've played that together. We're gonna get that when it comes out on the X Xbox One. She loves Child of Light. She sat there, played that with me, um, watched that. Um, but yeah, I mean, she's not super into gaming, but she uh, any dance game she'll play. Mm -hmm. So get get yes, dance games. If worst comes to the worst, <laughs> I get a dance play, game. I will play dance games. We'll <laughs> yeah, you yeah. guys know the first yes. game I bought was just Dance 2014, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. One, so. yes, I was. It was a basically. Can I get <laughs> <laughs> it, it was the only way I was going to get an Xbox One, and so I was like, "Well, I can get you a dance game," uh, and so I did. Yeah, I think and it's just everybody has different off. tastes. I think that you hit the nail on the head. It's getting uh, it's getting a game and, and just saying, hey, let's sit down, let's play together, or let's watch. Let me show you this. This is really cool. Watch this movie scene or something, yeah. something with a really good story. <laughs> and then I, Red Dead shows up. I yeah. did that. Um, I don't want – I mean, the game's been out for a long time, but there's a game, uh, Gears of War. There's a scene where a certain character dies. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. That, that – I, I, I was remember like, that. Yeah, okay – he still I, has nightmares. I remember. He's a strong. He still has nightmares. <laughs> so I remember going. That was the coolest cinematic I've ever seen. Yeah. It was amazing. And I, I went. I'm, I got my wife. I'm like, come on, you just gotta watch this, you know. And she just didn't understand on that one. But that uh, one. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Anyways, but uh, I was I was trying to explain. You know, this they they're brothers. You know, there's you know all this other stuff, all this <laughs> other stuff. You know, and trying to build it up. And oh, she's. But I think it's you know that you, I bring this up because if you show your excitement and stuff like that, you know, excitement is contagious. Yeah, it really is. And having fun, like she will, I'll be busting cr jokes. Talking trash to myself, right on there, and she just busts up. So, <laughs> talking trash to Jordan, playing some Madden. Going, your mom goes to college. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, Jordan, you just barely got married. Have you experienced this yet, or are you still in the honeymoon phase where you can do no wrong? No, no. Well, well, yeah. That's why he's Netflix. Yeah. Well, okay. Or <laughs> okay. Well, my wife's really nice because when I get excited ah! about games, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> My wife is my wife. Opinion, guys, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because, like, when I get excited about games, like, Halo, I'm reading the, the Forerunner saga, and I'm like, oh, well, when this happened, this happened in the game, blah, blah, and she, she sits there and listens. I don't think she really cares, <laughs> but she listens, you know? And you're, you're I, it's, it's like it's yeah, like that's what they are right yeah. now. Yeah. It's like you said, it's picking your game. Your opinion doesn't matter. Yeah. No, you still got when six we were, months. When we were back. dating, I played three games with her. When we were dating, we played Frogger, original uh, Super Nintendo Frogger. Oh, nice. Um, That's not the original. Well, I mean, the Super, Super Nintendo, Nintendo Frogger, Frogger right? 
Um, we played Mario Kart. She really likes Mario Kart. And then recently, we just played Zumba. Ooh. And yeah. I mean, who, she who won? Maybe we'll stream. I she won one. She won the Lady Gaga song, and I won the Shakira song. <laughs> oh, your hips don't lie. <laughs> yeah. Well, I played Zumba with your wife too. Oh, yeah. It's, it gets crazy. <laughs> it does. <laughs> it gets insane, man. No, Zumba's Dude, hard. Dude, you <laughs> should stream that. But yeah, well, I, yeah. I was thinking about it. I said, hey, we should stream this. You should stream that this week. <laughs> if you haven't played charades with Jordan. No, I would like uh, to commit you. <laughs> yeah. I would like to commit you to you play, to stream that I with the Kinect camera on this week. Well, yeah, because you can see us both, and then you can see uh, the images and stuff. It's pretty cool. Legendary charades player. <laughs> yeah. The legendary. Yeah. No, I, I agree with you guys. I think it's just picking what, like, she's not going to play Titanfall or Battlefield or Halo, mm -hmm. but she yeah. will play Zumba and Can you Frogger, play Zumba? You know, so. Yeah. One of the, I play uh, Zumba. One, one of the uh, listeners in chat, Cats42, who is actually a woman, uh, basically has... Actually, let's point that <laughs> out. <Yeah>. She's actually... <laughs> <laughs> that came out wrong. I mean, I meant... Don't have so has much a, disdain on your has, voice. She has authority in this subject because she is a lady who we are referring to. <laughs> She is she a is woman. A <laughs> she's a member of the... But she, she's reiterating what we say. It's basically uh, he, she watches her, her boyfriend play what he likes to play, and he watches her play what she likes to play, right? So it's just taste. So, yeah, figure out taste. Anyways, um, <laughs> Jesse the Rockstar, that opened up a uh, quite the discussion. Cat thank you, is so, <laughs> thank <laughs> you <laughs> so much uh, for, for sending that email in. Um, I think that's a pertinent one. Uh, if you guys want to send emails to us, it's uh, info at x1bros.com. Info at x1bros.com. Also, you can message us uh, through any of on Xbox Live through any of our gamer tags. I want to add one thing. Just invite them and see what they do. Yeah. I mean, I think maybe there's a, you know, I play video games and she goes and reads. Well, I think there's a stigma. I tried the inviting there. thing. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. <laughs> okay, never mind. Yeah. Yeah. I, no, I, I, throw it out there. That's like, what I you do. You want to play? I like, I for example, <laughs> I come over to play Heroclix. Hey, you want to come? No. Well, okay. that's here. No, if anyone out there has <laughs> taken there the, might be Netflix if there. anyone out there has taken the love language test, uh, or read the book The Five Love Languages, I have. Yeah, it's a very popular book. Isn't it gaming? A lot of uh, sociology. <laughs> Can I borrow it? A lot of sociology <laughs> classes will have you take that test. But my wife has a quality time. That's her love uh, language, and so she loves just sitting, hanging out, and watching or playing with because it's quality time. So find out if your wife's quality time, you're in. I think that's you're what in. mine was. You were quality time? No, 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 my wife's. Oh. Because I was touched. I was a physical touch. Yeah, I was touched. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Uh, something that I really wanted to hit on um, this week with everyone, obviously, I think is the biggest news of the PMI. week. PMI. <laughs> the biggest news of the week, and that is EA Access. And I want to just get our thoughts on EA, EA Access. Um, that's it. Just thoughts. Uh, let's, start, let's start with... Actually, let's start with me, shall we? Mm -hmm. uh, because I think I was the first one that saw this that was super excited. I came home immediately. When I saw that I w had access to it, I, I purchased it right there on the spot. Um, I like it. I like the idea. I do think it is a value. Um, I know that's the question. Is, this, is it worth it? Is it worth the $30 subscription? For me, it is. I love sports games. Even though I will be buying the new Madden, um, Having access to the old Madden right now and playing it is awesome for me. Having access to Battlefield 4, which I never per purchased, is awesome for me. Mm -hmm. It is, I feel like, the future, where the future is going. Um, and it's at a price point that makes it worth it for me. That's ultimately it. You bump this up to 50 and then I'm paying 50 for Xbox Live and 50 for this? I don't think so. I don't think I'm, I'm purchasing that necessarily. Yeah. Um, maybe once the library got bigger, I would. But at $30 for a year, you know... I'm there. That that is an excellent price point, and I love the 10% off. That's another big thing. I know 10% is not much, but it's enough of a, of an added benefit and added value to me that it makes it that much more worth it for me. Um, so all around, I love it. Uh, so far, it's worked really well. I can't wait to see what they add to the library, um, and I'm just super excited about it. Uh, Rad like my dad. What are your thoughts on it? No, I, I like it. I think uh, this is kind of the reason I got GameFly to start with was because I wanted games without paying too much for a full game. You know, if there's three or four games out there that you want, you don't want to spend $180 for those. Um, but the problem that I had with GameFly is sometimes the brand new games, you would never get them for three weeks, four weeks. Yeah. But this is cool. I didn't realize they had the vault at first, and so I was just like, ah, whatever. But once you showed me that it was that as well, I was like, oh, this is awesome. 
I like the five dollars, or even I think if I did the five dollars because I just want to test it out because sometimes EA has issues. Um, but um, no, I would I would do the thirty dollars for the year because I think it's worth it. I yeah, it, I it's think it's a good price point. You get for especially for the games you get. I that's one of the main reasons I did it. I I kind of wanted Battlefield at the start of the year, and I was like, I don't know if I want it or not, and so I didn't get it. And now I got that mainly for that and also for FIFA. Uh, Peggle is a, a good bonus in there. I don't really play Madden, but there will be more games. Yeah. Uh, I, one thing that I want to note, too, and, and we did do a video. You can head over to our website, X1 Bros, just kind of showing you what it is, and also on YouTube, X1 Bros, um, of EA Access if you haven't checked it out yet. Um, but it works with the licensing thing. So Jordan got access to all the games uh, as, well. as soon as I signed up for yeah. EA Access. So I don't think, Jordan, you don't have EA Access. Nope. Yeah, he does not have he EA Access, but he has all four games now because I, and we're able to play at the same time. I mean, that was just part of licensing. I also, thing, I was reading always, so a lot of people uh, talking about this. Uh, some people said it's great because the games that are in the vault right now are ones that they kind of passed on at the start of the year. But I've also seen people say if Ubisoft did this, they'd be super excited as well if this was like a trend that happens with a lot of uh, developers. Yeah, yeah. Jordan, what are, what are your thoughts on it? Um, I like it so far. Um, I think it works because it is EA and they are a ginormous publisher. Mm -hmm. I think the only other two people that could do it are Activision and Ubisoft. 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 Ubi. <laughs> Ubi. 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 I don't care. I'm gonna yeah, call what it is. You guys can get mad. Right. You can get mad at me all you yeah, want. Well, and that, that is one of the concerns <laughs> that chat brought up is that subscription-based gaming does seem to be the future. I mean, you have PlayStation coming out with the PS Now or what is it? Now? PS Now? PS Now. Is it PS Now? Um, which is basically access to all old games, but you subscribe to well, it. Um, but one of the concerns, you saying that that EA could do it because they're this they're this monolithic powerhouse. Well, they have tons powerhouse. of games. I mean, they have over hundreds of hundreds of. Yeah, games one there. of the things that was brought up in chat was this could worry that it could uh, could hurt indie publishers, small publishers, uh, with that. But I can't see it affecting it too much. Yeah, especially because they have some pretty significant avenues to publish. Mm -hmm. it, it, publishing is a lot easier than it was ten years ago. Yeah. But no, I I like it. I think I, well, I know people are like, oh, we got to pay this and for Xbox Live. I mean, I don't. Hey, but I mean, thirty bucks. But but, but it's you're not, getting the games. It's not the same. The thing, you know? yeah, the thing. I it's I've always like this Netflix. is my philosophy. If it's a good game, I don't mind giving them money for that good game, right? Yeah, like absolutely. Halo. I have no problem paying sixty dollars to get a solid Halo game, yeah. right? So I I don't. I mean. Battlefield 4, I think, is a solid game, and I think Madden is a solid... I, I, I like all the games in the vault right now. I think Dragon Age is going to be a solid game. Look up. Well, I wonder what the I, lowest uh, rating is, Metacritic rating, of those games. I bet you it's honestly, pretty high. I, all do, those I would do yeah. those just for the sports games. So, I mean, yeah. for $30 a month, and I've already saved $30 money... $30 a year. A year. Oh, sorry. 30, year. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> sorry, for, for $30 a year, I've already saved money on yeah. Battlefield... Uh, uh, what else? Madden and FIFA. FIFA. Yeah, because we already had. Mr. McSpicy has already played his thirty dollars worth. I already have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For five dollars, because I only did yeah. the months. Oh yes, yeah, And it made me. It's. I think it's smart of EA because as soon as I jumped into Battlefield, I was like, "Wow, this is awesome! I'm gonna buy the premium," yeah, which I got true. at a discount. Which is true of, because that that is a good point. They can still make money off of. Yeah. I mean, so it's not. It gets people in. Like that. Like that. I said. Like yeah. I got into McSpicy, Battlefield. McSpicy. Uh, like, what about you? Thoughts? Initial thoughts on this? You. You just. Got, but got it for one month to try it out as well. I mean, so, okay, so I'm kind of a cycle gamer. I play a game, the crap out of a game, then play another game and forget about that old game yeah, yeah. until like five months later. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? So the fact that they have a $30 a year and then a $5 a month and you can cancel and then I'm sure you can re sign up oh, later. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That fits my. Uh, paradigm, my, my psyche on how I game. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I like it. I, yeah. I mean, uh, Siliguara in chat's talking about how he doesn't feel the games are quality. You know, he, he feels as though for him, particularly, um, he doesn't appreciate or like those games that they have mm -hmm. right now. But at that price point, I mean, yeah. I got, for $5, I got four games. Peggle 2, FIFA, Madden, and Battlefield 4. And... Uh, I, I mean, I'm thinking about it. Remember when I would go to the arcade and throw down 30, 40, 50 bucks when I was a kid and didn't have that kind of money, you know? <laughs> and and I that was my gaming for a day. Well, this is, you know, much cheaper than that, in my opinion. Um, yeah. And I'm getting those games anyway, so... Yeah. But, and most of these games will be older games, but still, some of these older games 
are okay to pass on at the start and then play them later on. Well, for example, take Battlefield. Yeah. Yes, it came out, what, four, six months ago? Something like that? It came 46 out in, months ago. No, for <laughs> November, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it, it came, came, out, it came, it came out, out a while ago. With a while ago. Yeah, it came out Yeah, that's right, yeah, so last November. But it's still the latest installment to the Battlefield so series. We're not going to get Hardline until next year. So, yeah. I mean, you're still getting you're still getting your the your newest version of Battlefield. Yeah, that's, you know what a, I mean? that's a great so point. Same with Madden, although because of the release, it kind of, you yeah. know, Madden's coming out in, what, three not. weeks? It'll be interesting but it's, to see I mean, what they bring out, like if they bring out, like, an NHL game. Well, but he here's what it does for me as someone who loves Madden. Uh, if I was unsure, like, are the changes that substantial this year? Do I really yeah. need to get it? I I I don't have I to because I I still have it. Yeah. yeah. Well, first it's FIFA. I probably I don't know if I'll. Well, I don't know. The next one is supposed to be. It's the first next Although, gen yeah, FIFA. First, yeah. But um. But it does give you those options. I just think the price point is key. If this was more, I don't think yeah, any of us probably would have purchased it. But it's at the right price point for each of us, and that's that is key in everything is the price point. Yeah. <laughs> even though, like chat saying, even though Dark saying in chat that, that I mean the games are you know old mm -hmm. i mean they're just gonna the games are gonna be dated that go into that vault mm -hmm. i i rarely unless you guys are right on my shoulder telling me to buy the game when it comes out you know i rarely i want to see the gameplay first i want to see stuff first so and then sometimes i miss a game well look at how many games are coming out this holiday season we, uh, this fall there's no way we're going to be able to play all those games so some of those ea games that you might have missed eventually will be in that vault. Yeah. There you go. Well, Jump the thing right is, is I don't mind the older games. Take uh, 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 um, the gold thing. Games for gold, that's what yeah. it's called. Um, <laughs> games gold for gold, thing. Xbox 360, they just got Dishonored. I was way jealous. That was a fun game. Uh, I wouldn't mind that getting too. that game again. Yeah. And it, I mean, it's a good year old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's, it's not necessarily a bad thing having the old games come out. But yeah, I yeah. do like it. And I do think subscription-based sub subscription is where we're going. We're going to have a Netflix-type system somehow, some way, but with gaming. And I think yeah. EA, Microsoft doing this with EA was that first But I think forward. the way you did it X Y is a lot better, no offense guys. I think paying thirty dollars for a full year, because then it's at least it's not, you know Yeah. First of all you're saving thirty bucks instead of going twelve, which is sixty. But it's not, you know, you don't have to worry about well, $5 if you, coming if out of you your Well, if you like any month. of those you four games. You can upgrade your subscription at any time. No, no, I know. But, I mean, it's just when you pay it all at one sum and you get a year, I find it less subscription-y, if that makes sense. Yeah, you know well, because I mean? you don't think about yeah, it. Yeah, because you don't have to worry about it for a year. You know what I mean? To the year well, pass. And I, no. I honestly didn't buy this for the 10% or for the five days early access. I bought this for the vault because I want more games to play. Um, and for the even for thirty dollars in a year, if I get a few extra games just to play, just to keep me occupied every once in a while, I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah. Especially well, being so cheap as I am. And I, l I, I looked at it myself. You're so cheap. You <laughs> went five dollars with me. I looked at it. <laughs> I looked at it myself, honestly, with that ten percent off and the five day preview, uh, five days before a game comes out. I looked at it as um, this is my GameStop. Pass right. This is my GameStop card that I used to buy to get the discounts on used games and my trading values. This is that basically. Is instead of play. instead of getting uh, trading value, I'm getting old games for free that but, I could play. But it is limited at GameStop. Yeah. You had a wider selection. No, no, a, no, absolutely. I mean, this is just EA. Yeah. Um, but but, but that's, that's what I'm what looking at. That's, that's my mindset. I mean, they've okay. got Dragon Age coming out. They've got what? A, I mean, Madden, FIFA. So I, I mean, quite. Big titles that I'm going to get 10% off and yeah. five days preview on. So yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to that. I, I do have one problem with EA Access, though. I don't like that they're not putting Titanfall on there. And, I mean, I already own everything but Titanfall. But the reason I don't like it is because... In the vault? No, or no, just on it completely. Yeah, you don't get... You don't Titanfall get the is discount completely discount separate from, from EA Access. Yeah, so are they and the reason I games? don't like that is because... In the future, they can go, okay, yeah, Dragon Age, five days early, but the DLC doesn't count for the 10%. I, yeah. If you're going to do it, you do it. Do don't, it with everything. Yeah, don't, if you're going to have something like this, you got to do it. Don't exclude certain games just because you're yeah. probably getting I don't know I what mean, I know it's I know it's a business decision, and that might come into respawn, not wanting Titanfall on there, but if you're going to do it, you need to do it. Well, are they yeah. planning to do that with, like, any of the other games coming out? I don't know, but see, that's my worry, is because... EA yeah. publishes Titanfall. Then basically, you're buying the vault. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, but, I'm, but what I'm saying is, I just don't like that they did that. That's my only complaint with it. Because what's going to stop them from doing it again in the future with a game you're really excited for, like Dragon yeah. Age? Well, we'll see. We'll no, see no, how. I mean, this is just. We'll see how it plays out. It's still a step yeah. beta. Yeah. We'll see yeah. how. We'll see how this goes and how it plays it off. Uh, 
But I'm definitely, for myself, I'm, I'm really excited. Um, next topic that I wanted to cover, and actually it's our last topic, ironically, mm. but uh, the sales numbers came out for the consoles this week for the last quarter. Um, and uh, Jordan, are you looking those up right now? I have the exact numbers here, actually. No, no, I just... I um, the news is that PlayStation this last quarter outsold Xbox One, PlayStation 4 has outsold Xbox One's by a three to one margin. That's mm-hmm. huge, right? Yeah. I mean, that is, that is in the business world, you're dead, <laughs> basically. Um, now, granted, this did not include the connectless Xbox One system. Um, that was that came out the last two weeks of the quarter. So, it, by and large, those numbers are not based off of that. And with a lower price point, which I think is ultimately key, that lower price point, and Microsoft did did say that in those two weeks their Xbox sales did double just in those ex- just in those two weeks um, but you're looking at about 800,000 Xbox One sales, console sales to PlayStation 4's 2.5 million PlayStation sales. My question is, because we're not, we're not pro, X- I mean this is an Xbox One podcast, but I'm going to get a PlayStation 4 just as soon as I get extra money I mean we're not, we're not this is my only gaming system, and it's the best. That's not that's not why I bring this up. My I bring this up because, what are your thoughts? Is it is the damage done? I mean, and this damage we all know is from from E3 last year. Yeah. Just terrible rollout, mm-hmm. terrible communicating. Um, is it too late? I mean, no. this this is a substantial hurt. Or, or is Xbox headed in the right direction? Just, what What are your thoughts, Mr. McSicey? Let's Let's start with you on this one. I think I gotta digest this a little okay. bit before I. <laughs> okay. Hey, well, let, let me. Anybody have thoughts right now on this? Jordan, go ahead. Start no, us off. No, it's, it's not. It's not the end. I don't know why people are saying that Xbox is dead. I mean, why? Why? They've been saying that since. Well, last I know. Well, I mean, and, well, guys, keep in mind. I don't think ever. I, I, it is a very small, loud minority on the internet yeah. that is saying stuff like that. So my question basically just is, I mean, these, this is a serious deal because it's a business mm-hmm. um, and we know Microsoft has money to throw at it. How do, you, how do they write the ship? Are they in the process of writing the ship? Well, Are the steps well, well, look, already have being they, taken? Have they um, lost money? Um, well, as of right now, I, 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 I don't know if they've lost money, but I know that... Because, I, I mean, I said this a long time ago. It doesn't matter if I guess in long term it matters because you you know you don't have less pe- you have less people buying games but as long as you're still make as long as you're profitable well you got to remember though Microsoft to get into the console business threw money at it lost tons of money just with the first Xbox just to get in yeah but that's and, and but see but see they look at it long term at at you know two years or three years yeah. whatever the number is that's when they start making money you know um, if well it, and I'm sure if, it's the same at every console if it costs. You know, two hundred dollars to make an Xbox, and they're selling it for five hundred, or what? And those aren't the exact numbers, but yeah, I'm yeah. just saying, if they're making money on the sales, and see, I don't know if they are or not. So that that's why I want to digest this and think about this because, honestly, if if PlayStation is making less money per sell, and Xbox is making more money per sell, I mean, it balances out kind of. So there, oh, it's too. It's too. We, uh, I don't have enough data to. I don't. Get I don't a think formula- that they've released. We I also I don't have know to if... remember that Xbox isn't as in many. I don't think this will be a huge number difference, but Xbox One is not in as many regions as PlayStation Four, right? Yeah, now. that is true. I don't think that's going to be your what, you know, two million gap. But I mean, it's I I think yeah. it will make my, it. myself myself. I think that that price point is key. Uh, remember, PlayStation messed up at the beginning of the PlayStation Three launch, and they were what was it, five ninety nine? It was super expensive yeah. for a PlayStation Three and Xbox, I had, know, and I that's when one. everybody jumped <laughs> yeah. to a to a three sixty. And I but, think and, that and this remember, is that, and now they match that price Xbox, point, and they did it fast. Xbox three sixty was ahead of PlayStation for four years, and PlayStation's still here. Oh no, it's I, just, I mean, no, no, no. I mean, we're not. I mean, but I, it is I a think comp- it goes but in it is, cycles. It is a business, and it is a competition, and there are sometimes. I mean, it, you want to be the clear winner. And that, think, that's your goal as, as a I business. I think, and you guys can uh, and tell me if I'm wrong, but just these last, not last year, but the year before, PlayStation 3 finally caught up to the Xbox 360 sales. Well, I so think I mean, in the end what happened yeah, is they, they were basically neck and neck. Yeah. Yeah, but overall speaking. I think last yeah, year, the 360 was ahead for a while. Even then, with all the numbers, it's still an ambiguous argument. Yeah. yeah. You, you, so I just think I don't, there's a lot of things. Well, like, yes, Sony's doing better right now. But uh, 
like there was an article a couple weeks ago, ago about can Sony handle their success? Um, yeah, from what because they've, they're so... From what they've shown right now, this is why I like... I got an Xbox because I tend to lean more Xbox because of you know a bunch of different reasons. But one of the reasons is because the core behind X, everything on Xbox is built around Xbox Live. You got 400,000 servers backing it up with more that they're going to add as it grows. I, I've had the Xbox One since November, and we've only had one crash for an hour. Hmm. And it was in the middle of the week, you know, whereas, I mean, on the PlayStation, and this is nothing against PlayStation, I do like Sony, but one demo comes out and it crashes your whole system for an entire morning. I don't. That's my problem with PlayStation. I don't think well, I, they I, have the, the they, network winning, that Microsoft I, has. Regar- but regardless of that, they're winning the PR battle. They are the more popular system right now. That's that's regardless of whether or not they're making money. And that's big. I and mean, that's huge. Yeah. That's, yeah. Per- perception is reality. They're perceived to be the gaming system right now. Is Microsoft? Can they overcome that perception yeah, that yeah. they're not? I, I say yes. I yeah. think they already have so far with, say, Phil Spencer in the last year. Uh, they're right. definitely making the right moves, yeah. that's for sure. I think it's kind of hard for Microsoft because when you go read through comments, people hate Microsoft just to hate Microsoft. You know what I mean? Like, uh, Especially with the Xbox. The Xbox, most of all, like... People will say, "Oh, the Xbox sucks just to hate it." You know what I mean? Yeah, but you get you, that you have with one. Anything, I know, really. but I mean, I feel like it's more so towards the Xbox than it is the milk. Wii and the PlayStation. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I think they take a lot of flack. Just I don't know. It's 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 hard. When I when I think of things like this, I think of what I like about the Xbox One. You know, I think they're going in the right direction. I like all the apps you can have on it. What you can do with the, the snapping everything. The voice uh, commands. Voice like, there, commands. there's a lot of things there's that make it very cool. There's a lot of fun things, a lot of cool things. I don't think it's going anywhere. I think it's just, it's only a year old. Not even a year old. Yeah, well, we're still early. Yeah. yeah. Um, but as a popularity thing, Mark, you think they're heading in the right direction? You yeah, like what they're doing? Yeah, well, yes. Their biggest problem was they, s- I mean, E3, they sold it at not as a gaming device. Yeah. Yeah. You don't go to a gaming convention. Yeah, and, and tell them it's game. not a gaming <laughs> device. And they're they're doing a great job at repairing all that. That's what's uh, happening right now. They're We're just in damage repairing, control mode. They're just damage doing control. that. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, the, the move with Phil Spencer, him coming out, gutting everything, fixing all the, the wrong perceptions of the box, you know. I mean, yeah. I believe it's... Yeah, and personally, I think it's going up. There's more people going, yeah, it's not bad, you know. Yeah. Well, and they did double their sales just in that two weeks that were included in that quarter. So this next quarter will be interesting to see if they gain any ground. Um, but it is important because we want the gaming market to be competitive. That's why I brought this question up. Because yeah. if it's competitive, we all benefit. We benefit with these features that they're willing to experiment with, like EA Access, like PlayStation Now. Um, I have a great analogy for, for why it, it's important to have more than one gaming oh. device. Oh, wait, wait. Does your analogy involve Comcast? <laughs> yes, my ISP. <laughs> yes, I got uh, it. So, I it. okay, so I'm going to just stay, say this story, and this is why competition is incredibly important for us consumers. So last year I called Comcast to up, update my, my whatever subscription to Internet, and the guy mentioned on the phone, I'll make this as brief as possible, oh, guess what? We're doubling your speeds. And I'm like, whoa. All right, thanks. With no cost. Oh, yeah. that's that's great. That's neato, man. I'm getting <laughs> double the download. Woo! Woohoo! I mean, Comcast <laughs> is awesome. <laughs> then I find out that fiber gets is coming into the neighborhood. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So they only did that because of the competition. Do you know how stale that would have stayed if fiber wasn't coming in? You know what I mean? They wouldn't have moved up. They, they would move not up have made because that. of competition. Right? They only did that because competition pushed them to do that. Imagine a gaming system where only one is there, and no one's making con- a, a connect, or no one's making a motion controls, or a, even though I hate motion controls, or no one's trying to innovate the industry. Yeah. It would stale. The, the the industry would just sh- stop. Yeah. Like, there would be no innovation. We there would, would still be on the PlayStation 1. It would, it would be ridiculous. So it, to have one of the power players disappear would be bad news for gamers everywhere. So please, fanboys on both sides, realize that. Yeah. Do, yeah. You do not want one to win. You yeah. want them both to be fighting forever. Yeah, that's what makes what you currently love and are fighting for 
so awesome because Better. the other one is trying to be awesome too, right? Yeah, exactly. No, good point. And, and interesting discussion. I think it is is good to look, I mean, we focus on video games, but it is good to look at the reality of the numbers, the perception out there on the popularity on both co both consoles cuz it will determine it will determine our future. Yeah, the future guys. Please <laughs> continue to have even more competition, innovation. But man. I, th oh. I think I think this holiday season uh, is going to be a huge test, uh, and we'll see we'll we'll see how it goes. Uh, but definitely, I think we're all in agreement that the direction of the Xbox One is the ship has been righted, and the direction is good. Agree? Agree? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> all right. Uh, before we head out of here, I think it's time to go couple of housekeeping announcements the calendar the monthly calendar will be up on Sunday so everyone head over to x1bros.com forward slash events to check those out um, this Tuesday we will have a special edition podcast we're not telling you what it is but tune in um, 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time special edition podcast. You're not invited. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan's um, looking at me like, what? So you'll get you'll get an extra podcast. Uh, we still have a regular on podcast on Friday. Uh, this is just a special edition podcast that we'll be doing. So tune in. Little teaser. You'll like it. <laughs> I love it. Um, any any other announcements that I missed? Forgot? Don't to forget mention? to rate us. That's I mean we're little we're little people, and I think itty a lot of people guys. like itty. us that we're little people and we're we're amateurs and everything. So please, we want to improve. Uh, it helps us significantly if you go to iTunes and just pop in a comment and rate us, yeah. or or even on Stitcher or yeah. uh, what's the other one? Myro. I forget the name of it. We're on everywhere you can get podcasts. We are there. So please rate us wherever you're at. But iTunes is the big one. Please rate us there. Like us. We want to grow the community. It's a positive gaming community that that is growing here. Everyone on it is awesome. Come play with us, please. Also, when you see us. Yeah, online. Mr. McSpicy on Xbox Live, Twitter, and Twitch is me. Um, please invite me to play games with you on Xbox Live. If I'm available, I will hop in and I will play with you. Nice segue. What will you be up to this week? Uh, I will be playing. <laughs> uh, sorry, I just like I'm gonna play Battlefield Four. <laughs> so okay. I didn't mean to go. <laughs> okay. Battlefield Four, and I got to get my dailies and Hearthstone. So nice, very nice, Jordan the Man. And how more. About you? I'll be playing with um, you guys too. Yeah, you can find me at Jordan the Man. XOB or follow me on Twitter at Jordan the Man XOB uh, and on Twitch at Jordan the Man underscore X One Bros and then Jordan the Man on Xbox Live and I'm going to be playing the Titanfall the new maps they look pretty cool and probably some Battlefield and then maybe a little Madden here and there so nice awesome so. Uh, Red like my dad how about yourself uh, you can check me out on Twitch and Twitter Red like my dad uh, gamer tag is Red like my dad send an invite uh, thanks for those that send uh, game invites sorry I haven't been able to get into them usually I'm just crazy busy with things but um, keep sending them and one day I will be able to play um, I don't know what I'm going to stream this week I stream Tuesday and Wednesday 3 to 4.30 maybe Titanfall since there are new maps uh, yeah. I'm pretty much done with Wolfenstein for now because <laughs> that dollar because <laughs> you guys don't want to watch me play the same boss like for like <laughs> three hours trying to beat <laughs> controllers were thrown <laughs> <laughs> awesome uh, I am X1 uh, X1 Bros is my gamer tag. Hit me up on there. Please follow me. I haven't had a chance to go through and follow some of you back who I, who I know very well. So uh, I will get on that. Um, also, um, Twitter, Twitch, X1 Bros. Please check out our YouTube channel. Um, we are in the process of creating more content for that on a weekly basis. Uh, this week, I think we came out with three videos. Did we come out with three videos this week or two videos? I think mm, maybe. At least. Two, at least two that I know of. Two plus. I'm, I'm sorry, <laughs> uh, my mind is just—it's Friday, okay? <laughs> Come on, it's Friday. It's Friday. We're done burnt, with the show. Burnt, burnt out. <laughs> He's thinking of playing games. Yeah. Uh. But anyways. Uh. Yeah. So check out YouTube if you haven't yet. Please subscribe to us there. Check out our Facebook page. We also have a community page on Facebook. Both are called X One Bros. Check both of them out. Uh. And that is that. iTunes X One Bros. Don't forget to rate us. And until we see you guys next time. Keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it really real. Nice. Nice. All right, guys. We'll see you guys later.